Jared, thanks for being here. And um, yeah, how are you doing? And uh, how was your day so far? Um, it's pretty good. I mean, I, I just got back from breakfast, so I'm uh, fueled up and ready to go. Awesome. Um, so the promo phase uh, for the new Machine Head record um, of Kingdom and Crown is coming mm -hmm. to an end. And uh, yeah, can you already draw a conclusion? Uh, well, <clears throat> I guess as with any record, you never really know uh, how it's going to go until it's out in the world for everybody to have and to hold or to, you know, or to to hate on as sometimes the case may be. Um, but personally, I, I feel like we've got something really special. And I mean, even I have been listening to the record on repeat a lot, just, you know, listening to, you know, the flow of the songs from start to finish. And uh, yeah. And like I said, I just, I feel like we've got something really special. So um, is this something special for you to uh, to re-listening the the rec whole record so uh, that all, that much? Um, you know, it's just uh, you know hearing the final product and seeing it come together in such a grand way. Mm -hmm. um, it's you know I don't know it's 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 cool. Like I'm 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 proud of the work that we've done. And I feel, you know, and it's just, you know, like, like any job well done, you know, I just, I, I feel, I feel good about what we've done and I, I feel good about, you know, what we've created to put out into the world. And, uh, I just, uh, and, and it seems like, you know, the, the, the early signs, uh, show that, you know, perhaps everyone else will enjoy it as much as I do or we do. Um, so, uh, we're, we're hoping that continues. Yeah. I think uh, you can definitely be that, uh, yeah, that proud of, of the records. I, I've heard it several times and it's so unbelievably good because, um, everything matches together in the end and, uh, yeah, that's, everything makes sense and that's, that's awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and listening to the, to the record, um, you feel that, you, I, I think, uh, that you feel, um, you managed to combine the, the machine head sound uh, with modern songwriting and riffing um, and uh, all that stuff. Um, was that a goal for you? Um, I, you know, honestly, I don't know if it's ever really a, a goal. Uh, Rob famously likes to say that, you know, there's never a plan, you know, you just, you know, we have this drive to create, And, you know, and obviously, you know, just, just, just in ourselves and in our hearts, uh, but also, you know, in the state of the music business currently, um, you know, you, you, you have to create and you do have to constantly create. Um, and you hope that each time you can do something fresh and something new and maybe something you haven't done before or something that people have not heard before. Um, so. I mean, like I said, you know, you just kind of, you know, you follow your gut and you follow your heart and you write these songs and you hope that when you put them out into the world, like I said, that, that, that you know, they are accepted. Um, so, you know, and I feel like as far as this record is concerned um, and, and even maybe with other records, like I feel like maybe sometimes the the full vision of the record actually comes much later because you kind of start like i said you start writing songs and you start kind of hearing how they sound and then you start to put them together in a certain order and give the record a flow and that things and then the the, the the vision comes more into focus um which is i think what happened with this record you know given the uh uh the the interesting times in the past couple years um, you know, for instance, my hands are empty, which is on the record, mm. the video and the song came out two years ago. And then we had the three song EP that came out last summer. So it's like, these songs have kind of already been out in the world, but when you put them in the scope of the record, they don't feel old. Mm. Like it, 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 it is part of that complete picture. So, um, 
like I said, it's just uh, it, it, the overall vision comes a little bit later. Yes, and uh, I only can imagine uh, it's pretty hard to. On the one side, uh, you you go with the flow, and on on the other side, um, yeah, you you have this concept and um, mm -hmm. build a frame around all of this. Um, yeah, that's that's uh, pretty. Um, Yeah, two kind of uh, two two ways to go um, in this in mm -hmm. creative process. Mm -hmm. um, yes, uh, talking about the first song, um, "Slaughter the Martyr." Um, what made you decide to use uh, a song that is um, over 10 minutes long as um, yeah the opener for the record? Um, you know, I, I I will admit that it's probably more of a question for Rob. Um, but I think as the, as the, that particular song developed, um, I think that was maybe an instance where right from the get go, mm. um, there was this maybe grand idea for that song. Mm. Um, uh, I believe that, you know, Rob had the, uh, the, that first heavy riff when the song really kicks in. Yeah. Um, That I think that came about first, but then again, like I said, as it developed, you know, I think there just came this vision that you know we could, again, you know, do something maybe a little different. I mean, because that intro, I mean, it's it's three and a half minutes. You know, <laughs> yes. it, it could almost be its own track. You know, and I don't know if there's, you know, if Machine has really ever done, you know, it's it's practically a cappella, you know, with the way that the vocals go. Yeah. You know, and there's, you know, no drums, you know, there is the guitar, you know, the, the, the guitar framing in there, but, uh, you know, it was just something, it, it was, a it was a cool challenge, uh, for us even just creating that, you know, because the, the vocal parts are, it's, you know, it's difficult, you know, mm. it's very breathy and it takes a lot of training and strength. Um, but I think it just, I don't know, really, I think it really sets the tone for the whole record. Mm -hmm. uh, even as a song that came later in the whole process. Um, and that's just how it goes. You know, you never know, you know, you've, you know, the first song you write for a record, you know, can be buried way down and like, you're just like, ah, whatever, but yeah. you know, but like I said, I, I'm, I'm again, you just, you almost never really know where it's going to go. Um, but when you end up there, it just feels right. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, um, yeah, we, we've already talked about um, the concept of the album. And, uh, yeah, it's descri it describes um, two characters uh, with their own traumas and, uh, yeah, also shows that there's um, not that uh, the good side and the evil side, but also a large number of, of shades of gray, I would say. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, how, how much Jared is in, these, in this concept? Um, well, uh, I think that it's it's reflective of what you know a lot of people have been going through over the past few years and i mean yes there are you know kind of specifically these characters um that are their own uh individuals and represent their own individual ideas but again you know the characters are very similar to each other and like you said like you know going through their own traumas and doing what they are driven to do by their circumstances and by their heart. Um, and, you know, we, we all have those moments in our lives. Um, so, I mean, it's, 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 I mean, I mean, Rob, Rob came up with the concept and kind of came to me with it and was like, Hey, you know, it's like, these characters and da, 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 and he talked about, you know, specifically the anime attack on Titan. But again, I think it, I think it, it goes to the broader idea of just everybody's daily struggles. And, uh, and I think that, you know, everybody, including me can really relate to that. Mm. Um, yes. And talking about the, uh, the title of the record, um, it's, it's, I would say it's, it's rather um, dazzling, uh, and the songs are quite dark and and sometimes heavy, heavy in in both in content and musically, of course. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, what what let you uh, bring you to this balancing act? Um, you know, it's. Uh, I think you always want to push yourself as an artist. You always want to try some things that you'd never done before. 
uh, again, maybe referencing the, you know, the intro to Slaughter the Martyr, that long vocal mm-hmm. intro. I mean, it's, like I said, it's almost its own song. And we had never done anything like that before. And I think that Rob was really, um, you know, looking to challenge himself, uh, you know, uh, and, you know, and me, uh, challenge both of us, you know, vocally and, as, and, and challenge ourselves into really, you know, creating a whole mood over the record. Um, and it can be, again, you know, you just, you have the idea in, you, in your head and you hope that it comes out the way that it, it, it is in your head. And I feel like we, we really accomplished that. Awesome. Yeah. Um, in the beginning, we, we had uh, yeah, this, uh, this topic about um, yeah, the, the, the modernity, modernity in, uh, of your songs. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, Machine is, is around for over 30 uh, years now. Um, do you perceive that your fans, um, sp- the, the span of your fans, uh, uh, no, that um, your fans span several generations right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We recognize it, you know, very easily. Yeah. I mean, we have, um, you know, a really good core group of diehard fans that we and that we, you know, actually interact with often. You know, with the you know the past couple of years, we've been doing the uh, electric happy hours, the live streams and stuff, and we've really built this kind of you know community through that. But even before then, um, <clears throat> I mean. There is a, you know, we've got a great group of core fans and fans in general uh, that really do span a lot of generations, you know, guys that have been with the band since the first record. And then, you know, young kids, you know, where, you know, like, you know, Bloodstone and Diamonds or Catharsis is the first Machine Head record that they've ever heard. Yeah. And, you know, and they're hooked and then they'll go back and go to the other stuff. So, yes, we I definitely perceive that, you know. It's, uh, there are times when there's almost a, you know, sometimes believe it or not, uh, a bit of a family vibe, you know, you get parents that bring their young kids to the show and, um, you know, we're all this kind of messed up, twisted family (laughs) that all has got our problems, but we all just kind of work through together in those moments at the shows and, and through the music. Uh, but yes, it's, yeah, that's, that's very easy for us to perceive. Yeah, then uh, the different age groups, um, yeah, might might different needs. Um, how do you deal with that? To communicate with them, by, uh, for, that's, for example. That's 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 a good question. That's a good question. I think um, it's that's a good question. How do we deal with that? Um, again, it's it's it's. I mean, I don't know. It's just, it's like a, again, I go back to the gut. Like it's, it's a gut feeling, you know, that, you know, you, I think first and foremost, as artists, we, you know, we've got our own issues and we just are trying to, you know, relieve the pressure in our own minds and our own hearts. And, but, you know, creating it in this way through music that thankfully is popular. Um, you just hope, you know, part of it is the, is the desire for connection. Mm. Um, and, and, you know, through that art that you create. And I think that, you know, we're really fortunate that people do connect with and people tell us a lot, you know, they say, you know, your music saved my life at times and it can get really, really heavy with people. And, uh, And we can relate, you know, because Rob has been in those dark places. I've been in those dark places, um, you know, and, uh, you know, and sometimes it's a little overwhelming, you know, but you just, uh, you know, you, you, I think, you know, as I said, I think first you hope to, you know, put those feelings out there. Mm-hmm. And then when somebody can reciprocate them, that's when you make that connection. Yeah the connection that elevates everybody to that place. That's really special. Mm. Do you think you can release uh, some of the pressure with, uh, with the new record? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, that, that's, that's, 
that's part of the cycle, you know, not just the business, not just the business cycle, but, you know, that's just kind of the flow of this chosen career path yeah. is that, you know, you know, it, it's, you know, you could be at home, you know, writing a record for mm. two and a half years, you know, just itching to go on tour. Can't wait to play these songs live. Can't wait to make that connection, have the show, have the, that live energy. Uh, and then, you know, you're on tour. And then, you know, if the record does really well, you're on tour a lot, a lot, you know, many months in a row for, you know, sometimes years at a time. And then you're kind of like, oh gosh, like I kind of wish I could just be home and chill. Yeah. So it's just that natural up and down. Um, uh, but it's just, I don't know. I think at this point, you know, he and I have been doing it long enough um, that we just, you know, we, we know, we know that's what it's like. And, you know, we've come to accept it and, you know, we, it, it still presents challenges at times, um, especially within relationships, as I'm sure nobody is surprised, but, uh, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's he and I at different times in our life had a moment where we knew that this is what we wanted to do mm -hmm. to create and to connect and to take whatever happens on that ride and just you know you just kind of have to accept it yeah can you can you say um when this moment was for you oh uh actually well i remember i had a i i can exactly say the point in time i was i was 12 years old and i had uh sh sh a few months before had received my first bass guitar mm -hmm. And, uh, one of my best friends, uh, still one of my best friends now, um, he had gotten a drum set and he and I started playing music together when we were 12. I mean, writing original songs, they were terrible, but you know, but we were creating, you know, I mean, we were both in other musical programs like orchestra and band and you know, mm. things like that. But, uh, I remember there was a point, I think, you know, after we'd written a couple of you know, very simple, short songs. I had a moment where I literally said to myself, I was like, okay, I was like this, this is what I want to do. Like I always loved music and I knew that it was something that came easily to me. Um, but I did, I literally had that moment. I was like, okay, this like playing in a band and collaborating with other musicians. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is what I want to do this. And I remember I told my sister, uh, Actually, it was actually many years later, um, but I told her about that same moment. She was like, you lucky bastard. She was like, you know, I'm such and such an age. She's like, I'm such and such an age. She's like, I still don't know what I want to do. And I'm like, yeah, it, and that's okay too. That's okay too. But I definitely remember that moment for me. It was very, it's, it's very ingrained in my mind. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. Um, there are some bands um, of your size and uh, consistency that, uh, Yeah, that could be um, set to grow old with their audience um, and not so with you. How do you stay relevant and as heavy, uh, yeah, relevant as a heavy metal band? Because of Boy, things if, changing uh, all the time, I would say. If, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I think that, you know, I, I mean, first, again, you hope that your, your, you know, your creativity and, and the art that you create, I mean, you always hope that it stays relevant. Mm. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to say. Um, again, I think, I think, you know, I, it, I'm not quite, again, I'm not quite sure if Rob always has a plan, like, or if he's sitting there at home going, okay, writing songs going, okay, how are we going to remain relevant with these songs? Like, it's just, I, you know, I, 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 I mean, I'm sure, I mean, you hope, you hope that you remain relevant. Um, I think part of it is just that, you know, you can't stop. Like you, you, you have to always keep creating and again, pushing yourself to try, you know, something different uh, in many cases with bands. Um, so, you know, you, you can have the intent, you know, I don't know if we, again, I don't know if we sit at home going, okay, how are we going to stay relevant? But again, I, I just think that, you know, maybe 
one big part of it is just, you know, chance or luck, you know, and you just hope that the climate is ready. You know, the climate of the, of the audience is mm. ready to accept what you're putting out there. Um, so, I mean, but the short answer is, you know, how do you remain relevant? I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I think it's just something you hope for and can, you know, something that you can work towards maybe in your subconscious. Um, but, you know, you just create this art and you put it out there and you hope that it's accepted. Yeah. And how important is uh, newer media for you to um, to appeal uh, to a younger demographic? Um, for example, on Friday I saw um, Rob is joining Nick Nocturnal via Twitch, and uh, yeah. yes, just, yeah. Well, just you know, it's those. You know, I will say that's one thing that you kind of have to, uh, you know, that you you have to kind of adapt and learn. You know, learning to use you know Instagram effectively and all the social medias and learning you know, you know, kind of paying attention to, you know, what's trending and, uh, you know, and, you know, and like you said, things like Twitch, which is a, you know, kind of came about, you know, is this new, interesting, you know, medium of connection. So, um, yes, I think there, there, I think it, it, with those examples, um, yes, there is a bit of, you know, intent in, learning how to utilize them um effectively uh to to maintain the connection and to again you know again hopefully keep the band relevant yeah so um yeah the last question um you release a new record called of kingdom and crown and um you decided to use for every o in danish ö. Um, yeah. what, uh, yeah, wh why, why did you use that? Because it would be so hard to find the record in every alphabetical list. Uh, um, <laughs> you know, I, uh, that might be a Rob question, but my guess is that, I, I don't know, I guess we just thought it looked cool. It's, it I mean, that's, I mean, heavy, I think of it course. looks cool. <laughs> I mean, it, it is, it is funny when somebody pointed out, I was like, oh, I was like, oh yeah. Or excuse me. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> But, uh, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, us not being Danish, it's, you know, it, it probably, you yeah. know, it didn't occur to us, but, uh, you know, but it is, you know, it is kind of funny how that turned out, but I think it's just, you know, it's just kind of, I don't know, just, you know, just little things like that, you know, just little touches, you know, for us, like, oh, you know, that looks cool, you know, and you just kind of, you just kind of go with it. So it's still a, a bigger playground for you. Yeah. In general, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, just playing with the creativity and 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 you know, again, just you know, trying new things. So nice to see. Thank you so much for your time. Um, Thank enjoy you. your day, and uh, yeah, I wish you all the best you uh, well. with the new record. Yeah.